Did you know Nokia still makes their iconic keyboard devices even in 2022 based on the popularity of their you know keyboard phone models back in early 2000 they are still making newer phones I saw this the other day and I was actually not convinced it's a real product it's called the Nokia 5710 XA it's kind of like a successor in the Express Music lineup if you remember the Nokia Express Music was a huge success I remember seeing those phones back then which were slightly more pricey than other phones in that range but they had a lot of multimedia features they even had dedicated buttons on the side to control music and as you can see from this picture these have a pair of truly wireless earphones built into the phone I mean that's interesting I don't think I've ever seen a phone with truly wireless buds in the body itself like you slide down the top cover and there are those earphones which you can directly use and this isn't a smartphone although it does support 4G and it has some pretty next level features like a removable battery when was the last time you saw that in your iPhone and it even has some classic nostalgic games like snake maybe i'm in the minority here but i used to play tetris a lot more than snake 128 mb internal storage and 48 mb ram yeah entire 48 megabytes that's how simple mobile phones used to be back in the day and now we have 16 gigabytes and still can't seem to open multiple apps reliably it shows the importance of software doesn't it and of course in performance they talk mainly about the standby time because that's what nokias are known for their extraordinary battery standby time there is a camera as well on the back which is a vga 0.3 megapixel camera so yeah you can take some pretty old school looking pictures with this if that's your goal i really like this white color i mean red and white even though i am a red and black kind of guy red and white definitely looks a lot sleeker for some reason I mean they have listed all the materials they have used apparently the package contains up to 80% recycled material and the entire package itself is 100% recyclable you see apple that's how you remain environmentally friendly not by removing chargers and stuff but actually making your packing materials recyclable which i'm sure you are doing but you just needed an excuse to remove you know essential stuff from the box and i'm not just saying apple other companies are following suit too thousand dollar phones don't even give you a charger in the box anymore and here's nokia giving you entire truly wireless earphones inside the device anyway i'll link this in the description check out the nokia 5710 xa would you consider buying a feature phone or a button phone like this in 2022